In this video tutorial for Grand Prix Race Manager, we will cover step 6, which is defining awards. This tutorial is using version 22 of the software. However, much of what we will cover applies to other versions of Grand Prix Race Manager. When I say awards, I mean any type of award that is not directly based on the speed standings, like design awards, special speed awards and so on. Those could be trophies, medals, etc., or even just award certificates. The software can display the race speed standings to your audience, but that is separate from the awards functionality. Note, defining awards is an optional step. On the overview tab of the main screen, click on the shortcut button for step 6. That takes us to the awards tab. Note, the columns displayed on this tab are affected by what you have set in the software settings screen. This is where you can define your awards. We do recommend that you define your awards ahead of your race. There are two ways that you can define your awards. You can add them manually into the software or import them from a file. We will first go over how to manually add, edit, and delete awards. To add an award, click on the Add button or press the Insert key on the keyboard. Select an award type from the drop-down list. This one will be Design Trophy. Note, an Add Set of Trophies box appeared. Now, if I check on that box, a selection for the number of trophies appeared. This is going to make it really easy to create a set of Design Trophy awards all at once. I have a set of three design trophies to award, so I will leave the number set at three. The software has already given the award a name. It simply says design, and I'll leave it at that. I want these design trophies to be for the air and space group, so I will select that from the group drop-down list. As such, I will leave the subgroup selection set at none. Now we come to starting priority. So, what is priority? Priority is the importance of the award. This affects the order that the awards are displayed to the audience during your awards ceremony. The software will reveal the lowest priority award first and then work up towards the highest priority award. For example, starting with the display of the third place winner with a priority of 3, then the second place winner with a priority of 2, and finally the first place winner with a priority of 1. For this set of awards, I will leave the starting priority at 1. Lastly, there is the voted on box. If using our Derby Web software, you can opt to make an award voted on by the audience. So, within Derby Web, audience members can place their vote for the award using their mobile device. I will have my design judges determine these trophies, so I will leave the voted on box unchecked. Now, I will click on the save button. I will opt to not create more awards for the moment. Here you can see that the software just created all three of my design trophy awards for the air and space group. Nothing is listed for subgroup for these since these are intended as group level awards. Each of these awards has been assigned the proper priority. First place design is the most important and third place design is the least important of these. No winners have yet been assigned for these, and none of them are to be voted on by the audience. On the subject of winners, when printing out certificates awards, if no winner is set for an award, the certificate will print out with an underline on it. This gives you a place to write in the winner once you have determined that. This allows you to get your certificate awards printed out before race day, so you don't have to bring a printer with you to the race. Let's create another award. So, I will click on the Add button again. This time, the award type will be Design General. I'll give the award a name. This one will be Best of Show. This is intended to be an overall award, so it will not be assigned to a particular group or subgroup. So, group and subgroup will be set to none. I will set the priority at 1, as this will be the most important award for the Design General category. If I already knew the winner, I could select them from the winner drop-down list. I'll leave it set at none. This one will be voted on by the audience using Derby Web, so I will check the voted on box. Now, I will save that award. I will create one more award. 
this will be another design general award. I will name this best sportsmanship. The group will be air and space. The subgroup will be astronauts. Priority for this award will be two. No winner is assigned yet, and this is not to be voted on. I will save this award. If I wanted to, I could continue on and create best sportsmanship awards for each of my subgroups. But for the time being, I will stop adding awards. If you need to edit an award, select the award from the list, and you can either click on the edit button or double click on the award. Make any changes that you need and then save them. If you have other awards that you want to edit, you can click on the Yes button and use the next or previous buttons to cycle through the awards until you get to the next award that you want to edit. If done editing or you just want to edit an award the normal way, then click on the No button. If you need to adjust the priority for an award, you can use the arrow buttons on the small toolbar. The down arrow will downgrade the priority and the up arrow will upgrade it. Now, let's cover how to delete awards. To delete one or more awards, check the box to the left of the award name for each award that you need to remove. If you want to select all of the awards and delete them, check the box in the column header. You can uncheck that box to deselect all of those awards if needed. Click on the delete button to remove the selected awards. You will need to confirm the deletion. We've covered how to manually add, edit, and delete awards. We will now cover the other way to get awards into the software, which is by importing them from a file. To import an awards list, click on the import button on the right. That opens up the import data wizard. Select the type of file to import from. You can import from a CSV file, a tab or comma delimited text file, or from another SQLite data file. The SQLite option allows you to import your list from a previous race's data file. For this demonstration, I'm going to import a CSV file. Click on the File button to select the file. The software comes with two sample files that you can use. One is a spreadsheet that you can use to define your awards. Save that spreadsheet as a CSV file and then import it into the software. The other sample file is a CSV file that contains a list of awards. You can edit that list as needed and then import it. For this demonstration, I am going to import the sample awards list CSV file. Select the file, then click on the open button. Click on the next button. Now you will see a preview of the data in that file. The columns with bold titles are mandatory and must have data in them, the rest are optional. If the first row of data has column titles, check the first row contains column titles box. If the data is not showing up in the correct column, click on the Change Mappings button. Here each data field is listed along with the import column from the file that it is currently mapped to. You can change the mapping for a field by clicking on the import column box for that field and then select the proper column from the list. The last column will show some sample data from your file to help you verify that the data fields are mapped correctly to the columns of your file. Once the mappings are correct, click on the Save button. My mappings are fine, so I will just cancel out of this. After changing mappings, look over the preview data and verify that everything is showing up under the correct column title. If all is OK, click on the Next button. Then click on the Import button. If there were any problems with the data, the wizard would list the errors here. For this file there were no errors and it lets us know how many records were imported. Click on the Finish button to complete the process. Here you can see the awards that were imported. You can manually add to, edit, or delete from these imported awards as you were shown previously. I want to point out some other features of the Awards tab before we finish up. The list over on the left side of the screen allows you to filter the awards list at the group and subgroup levels. Since some awards are not tied to a particular group or subgroup, you can click on the All option. 
you can further filter this list by selecting the award type from the list on the right. The Assign Winners feature will be covered in the video for Step 10. The Awards button on the right is for displaying your awards to the audience during your awards ceremony. We will also cover that in the video for Step 10. In the Awards Data section, there are some totals that are shown. These are based off of the awards that are currently being displayed on the tab. Besides the import features, there is also an export feature if you wish to export your awards list to a CSV file. To do so, you would click on the export button. Back over on the left side of the tab, you can resize that side clicking on the border and dragging it one way or the other. Up on the small toolbar, there is a search button. That can be handy if you have a large number of awards. You can search by the award name or winner information. Right next to the search button you may see a manual refresh button. If using our Derby web app, the data shown on this tab will automatically be refreshed. How often that refresh happens can be set in the advanced software settings screen. However, you can do a manual refresh of the data, if you wish, by clicking on the refresh button. If you want to delete out the entire awards list, you can do so by clicking on the delete button at the top of the main screen and then selecting the awards list option. There is also a delete option to delete out any assigned award winners, but leave the awards themselves. In this video we have covered how to manually add, edit and delete awards, how to import awards and the other features of the awards tab. For more information on defining awards, you can click on the small help button. Now let's go back to the overview tab by clicking on the home button. If you imported an awards list, the completed box for step 6 will have been automatically checked for you, otherwise, you can go ahead and check this step as completed when you are done. This concludes our video for Step 6, Define Awards. Stay tuned for our video for Step 7, where we will cover registering racers.